not graceful. <clears throat> Anyways, good morning. It is a beautiful Saturday here in Orlando. I am still staying with friends over this weekend while Judd is away at drill because I am not stable enough health-wise to be by myself and my awesome friends are looking after me. So I've had a lot of people ask me what this mask is for. It is supposed to filter out allergens and due to my severe allergic reactions that require IV Benadryl through my port to hopefully stop them from reaching anaphylaxis that I get all too frequently, um, my allergist said that it would be good to try this. Um, even though we don't know my triggers, it couldn't hurt. Uh, I have idiopathic anaphylaxis, meaning we don't know the cause. I've had allergy testing and it's shown that I'm allergic to lots of environmental stuff, but it shouldn't be triggering anaphylaxis and there's no pattern either. So anyways, on yesterday's vlog, if you watch it, you'll see that I did have an allergic reaction and we kind of caught the aftermath of all that. So it's pretty interesting to watch. I'm sure you'll learn something from it. Anyways, today is going to be a pretty relaxing day for my friends and I, and this evening we will be meeting up with some of our service dog handler friends, and then maybe if we have the energy and feel well enough, we're going to hit City Walk for some training and some fun. So, <clears throat> that is all good. So, I only wear the mask outside and in public to filter out the allergens and to also help me not catch things that people may have sickness-wise, because I have a lowered immune system and... If somebody's around me and they're sick, I will catch it and it will be 10 times worse for me. <clears throat> like Judd had a cold and gave it to me and it instantly for me turned into a sinus and chest infection, nearly bronchitis. And so I was right away um, put on antibiotics by my pulmonologist and thankfully the stupid sickness is finally leaving. I slept really well last night, no horrible asthma attacks from coughing, so thankful for that. <clears throat> I'm a water bottle, I'm thirsty. Janice and I use when she's like too dizzy or I'm too dizzy or in too much pain to get up and get water for ourselves like when we need to take pills super handy and they don't just give it to us in the kitchen like Harlow can bring me water when I'm in another room but anyways um, Orion is currently learning how to do this task better and better and so we're gonna show you how we break it down step by step the first thing you need to teach them to do is to open the fridge and then the retrieval task to get the water and then to shut the fridge. And on my YouTube channel, I have tutorials for retrieval and opening and closing doors, which is all the stuff you need to teach your dog how to get water out of the fridge. Okay. She's going to break it down step by step for Orion. Yes. You okay. want to do it? <laughs> you want me to do it? I'm not good at explaining. Okay, so Orion is still learning this task. And the first thing you do, obviously, is opening the door. Orion, water, open it. Good boy! And then wait, I know you know how to do this, but let me like show the people. Okay. <laughs> then after they know how to open the door very well, you can move on to step two, which is just basic retrieval. You keep the water bottles in the same place, otherwise they're going to start giving you other condiments, like he brought syrup last time. <laughs> so then, okay, water! And they give you the water. Whoop. Good boy! And how I do it is I do part of the water bottle, I'm thirsty. I wasn't talking. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll open the fridge, give me the water, bring it to me, and then it's a whole different command to go shut the fridge. Okay, Orion, close the fridge, close the fridge, close it, yeah, close it, go, 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 go boy. Boy. yay, Orion, and that's how you do it, there we go. Yay! He didn't get the syrup this time. <laughs> so those are a few tips and tricks we have for y'all regarding how to teach your dog to retrieve water out of the fridge. I know a lot of y'all would like me to make a YouTube tutorial video on how to do this, and I want to as well, it's just that I really don't have the energy for it because making a training tutorial video is not the same as just doing a vlog. On a vlog, I'm just talking and going about my day, but in a training tutorial, it's a few hours of my time set apart to make sure I really get in all the information I want and then there's the video editing and making sure Harlow works with me well for the videos. So it's kind of like a lot of energy goes into the training tutorials, but I promise as soon as I'm able, I will make one for y'all. Uh, today, Janice and I are actually dedicating to rest because this evening we are going out with friends. So that's that. I hope those tips helped. Oh. Hmm.
Happy dogs! My favorite type of cookies, double chocolate chunk. I'm gonna bake these. Unfortunately, Paul and Janice can't have any because they're not gluten free or dairy free. Sorry. But I can eat them! Badass. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All mixed together, looking delicious. And then She's doing horrible job. I did a good job. You keep eating the chocolate chips. Even though I hate raw cookie dough and batter and stuff, but the chocolate chips are pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ta-da! Yummy cookies. They're really tasty. Janice is gonna do something crazy to me. She's putting face masks on me. <gasps> Her face is gonna be extending soon, and. <laughs> It's what gonna look mean, gorgeous. Extending. You will see. Ugh. This is a bubble mask I'm applying. Oops. Ugh. This is a bubble mask mm -hmm. I'm applying. Feels gross. Feels gross. Shut <laughs> up. She won't stop shutting up. I felt like, th that don't make sense. <laughs> you need to shut up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> My face. It's all bubbly. <laughs> well, that mask is off. My face feels nice I guess and now Janice is gonna do this one what does that do this is a charcoal mask it takes off all your impurities all oh, right great let's do it help me <laughs> whatever <laughs> she's carefully applying this charcoal stuff we did the charcoal mask and now she has another one mm. oh my god be quiet. I don't like that feeling. It's gross. So relaxing. It's mud on your face. <laughs> We've got a sleepy puppy here. So sweet. And <gasps> boom! <laughs> I fell asleep while the mask was drying, so I'm just gonna take it off now. <laughs> Paul is doing truck stuff. Yep. My face feels nice. I was objecting to those masks, but then <laughs> and Janice made me do it and it felt nice. So I actually fell asleep with the last one on. <laughs> I guess I was relaxed. So that was fun. And I want to show you all my outfit for tonight. It's just comfy and kind of cute. Here. You see my outfit. I should be wearing my mask, but I kind of just followed Janice out here and forgot it. <laughs> yeah, she's a rebel it's, without I'm a, a rebel. mask. It's cute, right? Cause it's gonna be kind of chilly. Too. Then, let me zoom in. Look at that with the nice spiffy shoes. Love my flats. flat. The nice. What are those capris? Yeah, yeah. capris. There you go. I'm bringing gonna, them back. I was I was gonna say something else. Type of food. <laughs> there you go. And yeah, that nice shirt. I don't know. No nice. Yeah, and now I'm gonna go make sure my. Uh, emergency Benadryl kit is all up to date for tonight. Let's go do that. What is that? Who did it? Who took my socks out of my shoes? Oh, I better stop taking people's clothes. It was you, naughty dog. So you have my kit there, my saline flushes, medication syringe, heparin flushes, swab caps, alcohol swabs, my VOG mask, and stuff to make new medication syringes. Cause as you see, we put the date and time we make it on there. This is IV Benadryl. It only lasts 48 hours in the syringe. And this one expires tonight at 8 PM. So before we go, I'm gonna make a new one where you just use a needle to draw this out, take the needle off and then sanitize and put a cap on it. So <clears throat> we are gonna make sure we're all prepared in case I have one of those severe allergic reactions and hopefully the IV Benadryl stops it from progressing to anaphylaxis because we do not want to use the EpiPens and avoid the hospital at all costs. If you want a breakdown of how we administer the IV Benadryl and the protocol we use, go watch my Packing Madness vlog from a few days ago. You will see all that goes into traveling when you're chronically ill and you'll get a detailed overview of all my numerous medical supplies. So Janice is getting ready, Paul's getting ready. We are gonna head out to meet some other service dog handlers, have dinner at Chili's, and then if we feel well enough, we're gonna go to City Walk. And that's actually a pretty big outing for me. And in order to do it, and for it to be possible, I had to rest all day. See, when you're chronically ill, you can't just get up and go and do things that you want. <clears throat> you have to plan ahead and make sure you allow resting time for your body so you have enough stamina to do the things you want. 
So City Walk is a big outing for me. I need to build up the energy to accomplish it. And there's still no guarantee I'd be able to do it because, you know, I could have an allergic reaction, not feel well, and have to come home early. And things like that. <clears throat> That's why it's nice to have understanding friends and family and such. So I'm hoping that tonight goes well. I would love to go to City Walk and do some training with Harlo and enjoy time with friends, but um, I know dinner is going to be fun, so that is it for tonight. I would bring my camera and vlog while I'm out, but this isn't a good camera. It's really old and it just doesn't do well at night filming. Uh, over the next few months, when I, we can comfortably work into our budget, I'm getting a new camera for vlogging and I'm really excited. It's a Canon and it's going to be awesome. But if, I'm going to bring it, if I happen to get some good clips, I'll put it in tomorrow's vlog, but <clears throat> no guarantee it'll come out well, because and when I film with this one in the dark, it's kind of just like black. So anyways, I'm going to end the vlog for today here. Maybe I'll be able to put some clips from tonight's adventure in tomorrow's vlog. If not, I'll just tell you about it tomorrow. So thank you so much for joining me on today's adventure. I hope you'll have a great Saturday.